Jay's right. You going to settle on Yadkin? No, we're joining Daniel Boone's party. We're going to locate the new valley he found over the mountain. Fine place from all I hear. You from Yadkin's friends? How many are going on Boone's party? Don't know exactly. But it'll be a pretty strong outfit. Ain't seen any Indians around, have you? No, oh, maybe a hunting party or two. But Indians here about small friendly, and ain't nothing for you to worry about. That's what I keep telling Effie. Well, the sooner we get started, the sooner we'll get to Yatkin, I guess. Well, goodbye, friend. Safe journey. Thanks. Same to you. Oh, Pompey. Uh, yes, sir. Master Hollow. Uh, uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Commissioner. Pompey, Sir John said that I could borrow you to help me get some of my stuff ready. Uh, uh, yes, sir, Master Hollow. Just as soon as I go and tell the master, sir. Thank you. Master, uh, Mr. Mollow wants to know, can I go and help him pack his things, sir? Uh, certainly, Pompey. Aren't you taking Master Jerry home? Oh, Jerry, uh, run along with Pompey. Yes, come, Master Jerry. We can go see him. I've got to get my things together and change. I'll see you later. Good morning, Sir John. Good morning, Miss Richard. Good morning, Commissioner. You're all very fortunate to be able to go on this expedition. Splendid opportunity. You'll all become rich. That's what they told Father about this Yadkin. Splendid opportunities. You'll all become rich. I don't have to tell you there were no fortunes made here. Now, now, dear, please, please. Be How do you know it'll be different? Nobody's even seen the place except Daniel Boone. And what is he, a dreamer? Always chasing the next horizon? Uh, nothing of the kind. He's a man with imagination and force. Oh, oh. Quite so, quite so. Maybe you're right. Well, excuse me, Father. I have a dozen things to do before we leave. Good day, Commissioner. <laughs> Very highly strung, Commissioner. Footprint. Yes. There's a white man with him. Yes, prisoner. No, no prisoner, Black Eagle. <laughs> if he were captive, he'd be bound and take short steps. This man takes long steps. This man's a leader. Only one wise leader of Indian. Simon Gertie. What would he be doing down here 400 miles from his village? Maybe he hear about your party going across mountains. Hate white men. You've already many scalps, many horses. Mr. Curdy, we've got to bring him in. They man horses here. Thank you. 
least in Virginia? I guess so, dear. It's going to be lots of fun. You think we'll see any Indians? I hope not. We have enough trouble without Indians, I'm afraid. You needn't be afraid, Virginia. Mr. Boone will take care of us. He told me he would. You like Mr. Boone, don't you, dearie? Lots and lots. Don't you? Oh, I haven't seen very much of him. I like Mr. Boone right off. And, uh, and he likes you. Oh, I'm not interested whether he does or not. Did he really say he liked you? No. But I'm sure you say so if I ask him. Don't you dare. And don't you even let him know we talked about it. Can I be of any help, Mr. Junior? Oh, I don't think so, Mr. Marlowe. Thank you. Everything's attended to. Come, dear. Are you going with us, Mr. Marlowe? Yes, Jerry. You and I are going to be fellow adventurers. Between us, we'll have to take care of your sister, won't we? Yes, sir. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll pay my respects to your father. I don't like him. Jerry, you mustn't say a thing like that. That's very rude. Mr. Marlowe's a nice gentleman. And you must be polite to him. I'll be polite, but I won't mean it. Sir John? Well, you look like a frontiersman, Marlowe. <laughs> so I must say that I thought an expedition of this kind was a bit out of your line. I expected you'd be returning to Richmond. As a matter of fact, that was my intention. But I have a feeling that this new country offers great possibilities. I think I we'd see. better put Jerry up on the feet, Father. He'd be out of the way there. All right, dear. Up you go, young man. We don't start soon. We'll never make that first leg by sundown. We can't do anything till boom gets here. For two years now, he's been planning this expedition. And now, when everybody is ready, he has to go off on one of his hunting trips. There must be some very good reason for his absence. Well, I suppose all we can do is to sit here and wait for him to choose to come in. Sit here? Supposing something's happened. Why don't some of you men go out and look for him? Uh, Birch! 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 He won't show up yet? I ain't seen him. Don't you think we'd better try and pick up his trail? Do no harm. I'll get Finch and a few of the boys. Right. Thought you were a rich one, Boone. Where are you headed for? I'm on my way to Yadkin. Hmm. Let me see that knife. It's only a trick. Don't move, Gertie. What's this, another joke? This is 
no joke. And don't try anything. You're covered from the brush. You're getting worried about you, Daniel. Stop to pick up a friend of yours. Moses in the cradle. It's Gertie. Well, well. Here's the great scalper. Time you had a haircut yourself, Gertie. Easy, Joe. Save it until we get the ad.
got to turn Gertie loose. I know how you feel. I felt the same way when I brought him in. But unfortunately, as you have just heard, this man is protected by the peace treaty. In a few minutes, we'll be setting out on a 500-mile journey over mountains and through forests to a new Indian country, never before settled by white people. If we hang Gertie, the Indians will claim we have broken faith with them. And this will bring down on your heads and your families the war hatchets of his redskin friends. I say Gertie's life isn't worth it. You think I'm right? Raise your hand. Get his horse, Black Eagle. You're free, Gertie. Get back to your tribe and don't ever show your face in a white settlement again. And if you take my advice, Boom, you'll never show your face outside a white settlement again. My friend, I'm afraid I won't be seeing you for some time. Each man to his duties, Marlowe. I congratulate you on your patriotic spirit in helping to open new untitled lands for certain. Yes, and don't forget that the most important thing about this enterprise is to see that those titles get into the proper hands. Exactly. And I can think of no better hands than yours and mine. Don't lose any time in sending in a fool. Don't worry. I'll bring it myself. Hard day, Daniel. Don't you think we ought to make camp? I know it's been hard, but we haven't covered much ground. I want to get to the river before sundown. Get your wagons in camp formation. 
Check over the wagons, Joe. I don't want any more breakdowns tomorrow. All right, then. I go bring cattle. Yes, they could fall ahead, and I thought they would. But uh, I'll send someone else. I want you here with me. Let me see. Hello, I want you to ride ahead and bring back the herd. Tell the boys we're going to camp here tonight. But I'd, I'd have to swim that river. Those boys swam it. Curse to me, we're getting pretty fur ahead. Some of them darn wagons must have rode down again. Well, maybe we ought to wait for them to catch them. Wait, nothing. Don't give orders far as not to make count until sundown, so we better keep moving. You were in bed, young fellow. We've got to get an early start in the morning. Will you let me ride your horse again tomorrow? Promise it'll ride to sleep. I will. Honest, I will. Up you come. Up. Good night. I didn't join this expedition to save messenger. Well, oh, as long as you're with this expedition, you'll do as I say. Take your hands off. Stop that. I see no reason for flying into a blind race simply because Mr. Marlowe didn't jump to your orders. My orders are given for the common good. I'm responsible for the lives of all of us. I appreciate that. But I'm sure Mr. Marlowe didn't realize the matter was so important. I'm sorry I lost my time.
rode hard, Daniel. The herd was scattered last night. Redskins? Yes. What about the boys? Well, killed? Who done it? Wine goes. Goody? Yes, we trailed them for a while, but they've gone north fast. A long start. Better take a half a dozen men, get out there, and uh, see if you can't round up that herd. Joe, take three boys, get out there as fast as you can, and bury the bodies. Right. What's the orders, then? We go right on. Hollow, I'll give you ten minutes to clear out. Clear out? But you can't do that to me, Boone. I'd die out here alone. You heard what I said. Virginia! Virginia! Boone's given me ten minutes to get out. He blames me for that killing. Well, you are to blame. If you'd gone last night, this never would have happened. Yes, but I didn't think it was that important. I never dreamt they'd be killed. You know I didn't. Please, Virginia, you must help me. Talk to Boone. He won't listen to me. I'll die if I'm left here alone. You must help me, please. Joe, get the cattle going. Don't let them get too far ahead. Boone. Yes? Miss Marlowe just told me you ordered him to leave. That's right. Well, where can he go? Back where he came from. You know that's impossible. He's not like you or the others who've been brought up in the forest. He'll never find his way back to Yankee alone. I'm giving him a better chance than he gave those boys last night. Oh, I know that was wrong. He didn't do it deliberately. Killing Stephen won't bring back those poor boys. We've had enough death. Please. I promise you'll have no more trouble. Please let him stay. All right. Tell him he can stay. White squaw want Marlow. You want white squaw. Why not shoot Marlow? Take squaw. That's not the white man's way, Mikey. White way, no good. White man, soft here. Pretty soon, soft here. <laughs> Maybe you're right.
build our new home. Oh, Lord, we thank thee that thou hast brought us safely across these mountains and hast spread before us this beautiful valley for our home. to a life of drudgery. I'm going back to great wealth. Come with me. As my wife, you can have anything in the world you want. I have everything I want right here, thank you. Why don't you be honest about yourself? Honest? Yes. You're in love with who? I think you'd better go. Good luck, Ben. You ought to make Yadkin in about 30 days. Tell everybody what we've got here and bring back with you as many families as you can. Right. Thank God, I'll take good care of it, Ben, and be sure it gets delivered. Don't forget that jug of whiskey, Ben. And don't drink it before you get back. The last log is made and the settlement completed. What shall we call it? What's the matter with New Yadkin? That's where we all come from. We're on the Kaintuki River. Why not call it Kaintuki City? That's an Indian name. And I don't name nothing after no redskin. What do you think, Sir John? Well, uh... Oh, uh, Pompey, uh, we're uh, trying to find a name for the settlement. Uh, what would you suggest? Well, sir, it appears to me Mighty nice to name it after Mr. Boone, sir. Pompey, you hit the nail right on the head. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the future of Boonesboro. Hi, Father. You know. Oh, I suppose we'd better get it over with before you burst. And you remember what you're going to say? Yes, sir. I've been. Over and over. Oh, okay. uh, Pompey, uh, go about quietly and tell everyone to assemble over here. Uh, yes, Sister John. Right away, sir. I really should go back to the tables and help. Oh, I think you've done enough. Besides, it may not be your ankle. There really isn't anything wrong with it. 
mighty kind of you, Miss Randolph, if you could remain lame a little longer. I'll try, Mr. Boone. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we're both laughing at the same thing. Mr. Boone, Miss Randolph. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's silly to be so formal, isn't it? Let's stop it. All right, Daniel. Or do you prefer Daniel? I like it any way you say it, Virginia. Mr. Boone, sir. Yes, Pompey. Uh, the gentleman would like to see you, sir. All right, I'll be right over.
Virginia. Wouldn't it do just as well if you wrote a letter to the governor explaining everything? These men are leaving tomorrow. They could take it. Save that long trip. I'm afraid not, Virginia. I'm sure everything will straighten out all right, but I don't want to leave anything to chance. You will be careful. Is there anyone you care to send a message to in Richmond? Bye, Virginia. Your usual good luck seems to be deserting you, my lad. <laughs> You'll be getting her all back to work, Father. Oh, my luck will change. Come in. What is it, Peter? It's that Mr. Boone again, sir. I'm afraid that I'm busy. I'll tell him to come back some other time. I told him that, sir, but he's very insistent. He's been trying to see you for three days, and he says he won't go until he has. Well, it's becoming really a nuisance. Oh, why don't you see him and get it over with? After all, you you are the Attorney General, you know. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose so. But I hate to stop the game right now. Oh, Peter, clean up this stuff. Yes. Sir. Now, gentlemen, let us assume a judicial attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, the governor has referred me to you. He said your office takes care of all land in view. Quite correct. Well, sir, I've come to Richmond to straighten out the matter of title to our lands on the Cane Tupi River. Yes. I discussed that matter with the governor. But I'm afraid there's nothing we can do about it. You were notified to file your claim in the proper manner, which you failed to do. But you didn't give us time for that. Besides, we've never had to file title before. Squatters' rights have never been questioned. I found that, Alistair. Spent two years organizing an expedition to settle it. We've cleared it, planted it, and built our home. If that isn't title, then what is? I'm sorry, Mr. Boone, but we cannot make an exception in your case. When new land is taken into the state, it falls immediately under its law. Matter of fact, the claim on this land already has been filed. Cannot be set aside. It isn't hard to guess who filed that claim. I came here honestly expecting that this office would protect us in our just claims to these lands. Instead, I find myself among the gang of thieves who have stolen them. That'll do, sir. One more word and I'll put you under arrest. yourself, aren't you, Marlo? Immensely. I haven't forgotten, Mr. Boone, that you once threatened to turn me out into the wilderness. Very soon now, I shall have the very great pleasure of driving you and your rabble off my property. Time now. Can't help it, Black Eagle. How can I face those people? 
How can I tell them their lands and their homes have been stolen? No let's take. Fight! That's what I want to avoid. No. I guess we'll have to go somewhere else and start all over again. You make fire. I go get it. I say to you, my brothers of the Cherokees, Wyandot, Tawas, the Shawnees, that now is the time to strike. Already the whites have advanced over the mountain and have built a strong stockaded village in the heart of your hunting ground that came to key. Now it is but one small village. Tomorrow it'll be two, then three, then four, and you'll be driven farther and farther west. good rifles there. Look around, Joe. This is only part of our force. Besides, your friends in Boonsboro won't be expecting them. That's why we left them alone so long. So they'd get careless. Smart, eh? I wish I had let them hang you in Yadkin. You'll wish more than that before I get through with you. Fire up! Get the fire!
What's happened? Indians, sound the alarm. Everybody, quickly, quickly. Gertie has roused the tribes against us. There are five tribes of Indians marching to attack us. I want all the lead turned into shot. Get the cattle in. These are the water tanks to fill. Indians, Indians. What are we going to do, Boone? We can't hold out any longer. 
got to hold out. Well, how are we going to do it then? Our powder and shot's all gone. We ain't got enough water left, even for the wounded. We can't hold them off if they come at us again. And this time, they'll bring their fire bundles right up to the stockade. Then we'll be roasted alive. Why don't we make terms with them? You can't make terms with Grady. He's sworn to wipe out every one of us. Keep up your courage. Rain, we may have a chance. I won't count on the rain now. It's been like this for 24 hours. They're coming back! They're bringing fire bundles!
Jerry. Is he hurt, Mustard Moon? Dead, Bobby. Hiya, darling. Come, dear. Are you sure you want to come with me to this new western country? I'll go anywhere with you, darling. We must find new homes for these 